Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, just uh, kind of wanted to do a brief video on this uh, new piece which I just whipped up. Uh, basically, it's a banana, banana jack um, stanchion. Uh, which I uh, built for a power supply setup, which I'm uh, building in in the lab. So basically, I um, got these off of Amazon. I'll put a link in, in the description. Uh, but anyways, built the stanchion. Had a little bit of lifting on the print here, uh, but I guess no big deal. And then it's got uh, two mounting holes. And then basically, it's got these offsets, so this piece slides through here and mounts in there. Now, you notice because there's two offsets in here, this sort of holds the the piece in and then very firm on, on the studs. And then this back piece slides on and then you can go with a, a myriad of washer and, and screw configurations because again, I think these are designed for a couple different type of mountings. Uh, now for me, I'm just going to solder the terminals on and then connect the wires to the power supply. Uh, or actually the uh, power supply buck, if you will, that I'm going to be using. So I'll just put these on here with the lock washers and um, and the nuts. So uh, also it comes with uh, two nuts for double locking. Uh, basically though, just for, for assembly purposes, um, you know, just so you're aware, the idea is, is that... Um, you know, for to, to get these in, you'll basically have to, to have uh, this out, mount this, and then mount the jack in. Uh, it's on Thingiverse, so you can download it and uh, make changes yourself. So if you want to extend this out further, you want to have several of these, you can simply just copy this piece. Um, because this piece was the bit that took a bit of work, because I had to measure these out, measure the offsets and, and depth in, in each one of these. And so... Uh, Anyways, you can replicate this. I'll put the link to this. I have it out on Thingiverse. It's on Tinkercad. So if you just want it as it is, use the one off Tink, uh, Thingiverse. If you want to modify it, use Tinkercad. It's a great application. Uh, and again, you know, you can mount it onto a, a surface, what have you, and, um, and then connect it up. So anyways, I thought this was kind of handy. Um, so uh, if you found this handy, hey, give it a thumbs up. It helps us produce more videos like this and uh, watch for more stuff like this because uh, again I've done one for a power buck if you will adapter which would be part of this power supply and I'll actually do a complete video on the power supply because I think it's kind of nifty and kind of a, a cheapo setup so that's working really good. Alright see you in the next video. Cheers. <laughs>